right, today we're looking at a box of items that came from an auction out in uh, Washington. It was a trunk and they seem more interested in, in, in detailing the trunk like some people want to buy the trunk. They didn't really care about the contents of the trunk. But what they showed was a herringbone shirt and pants that were looked to be World War II and Marines. So I thought it's a big trunk there's got to be some other stuff and they said that it was full of military clothing. Now, I haven't looked in this box. We'll find out if it's, those may have been the only two items that were World War II or had any value. Uh, hopefully not. There was another item in the same auction. It was his uh, Marine Corps dress jacket. It had his name in the jacket. Looked up his name. It looked like, based on his service number, that he would have enlisted in late 1944, or early 1945. So I'm hoping it's a whole box full of uh, World War II Marine Corps items. I could be completely wrong, but let's go ahead and find out. You just never know when you're buying something in an auction and it's not photos of, of most of the items. You just gotta take a chance sometimes and hope it works out. I was looking for so not the uh, not too much value in that a pair of shorts yeah they got some some value but nothing too great see there's the gentleman's name and his uh, service number the pants. buckles for sizing it. I've never seen one that had sizing buckles on it. So that's something a little bit unusual. But again, that's something that seems to be army related, not marine related. And a pair of, uh, of khaki pants. You know, again, got his name. But that's a yeah, same name in them. I know some of the khaki uh, chinos have got a certain amount of value. So, you know, those got some value. Again, not the, uh, the herringbone stuff that I was hoping for so far, but at least those have some value. It's like another pair, probably the same, same kind of thing. So again, you know, they've got some value. Help cover the cost of the items. I don't know what that is. Here. And a pair of shorts. And another pair of shorts. And they must have really, really needed a lot of pairs of shorts. And another pair. And one more. All right, at least here's something that's that is Marine Corps. Oh boy, 
It's <laughs> monkey pants. <laughs> uh, if you're not familiar with the uh, monkey pants, they are, uh, you know, quite often you'll find just the herringbone uh, Marine Corps pants with, you know, just the cargo pockets. But whenever, if you find the ones that have got the big butt pocket, that's where the real money's at. And they're actually a pretty good size, too, so that's... I was getting a little concerned there for a minute. I was thinking, how many pairs of shorts can you have? That's really neat. Maybe we'll find some more in here. This looks like a shirt. Kind of matches those, those khaki pants. Random glow. Some tie. A sock. Yeah, he's got his name on everything. Here, let's see, maybe this would be the the shirt to kind of match the pants. I see we got his rank. Looks like he did that by hand. And this is the this is the P. P41 style. I'm not sure he ever wore this. As, as dark as the stencil is. That might not have been the shirt that he ever wore. We got another another shirt. Hopefully there's some value in these shirts. because Just like the shorts, it looks like there's a lot of them. Another, another shirt. What would it be without two more pairs of shorts? And another pair. That must be like ten of those. Things. You know, why couldn't you keep more herringbone stuff and fewer of these, these shirts? Another shirt. Be a little heavier weight. I don't know what these, these may not be military. Maybe. Yeah. Look into this. And another pair of khakis. All right, at least I see some more herringbone stuff in the bottom. Let's see what we got. It's another pair of another pair of monkey pants, and it can make a big difference. These being a pretty good size. I mean, these are at least a 34. They could be maybe even a 36. In good shape. Pretty neat. Oh, got himself a hat here. Pile uh, field cap. It's not worth a whole lot, but at least it's not another pair of shorts. Because here's some more shorts. Just gotta love those shorts. Looks like another jacket. This one, you know, compared to the other one, the stencil much more worn on this one, so I definitely wore this one more often. And one more pair of pants. Now see, these are more of the, the more common Marine Corps pants where you've got the two upper pockets, you know, there's no cargo pockets, and on the back you've just got... You know, it's a regular pair of utility four pocket pants. But because they do have the you know the Marine Corps buttons certainly adds to the value of them. But there's a big difference in the value between like this pair and the pair with the big butt pocket. Get yourself some monkey pants.
So, that is it. Here's the belt that would have gone on his, uh, his dress jacket, which was on another lot. I didn't, didn't get that. So, overall, like I said, I was hoping it would just be full of hair and bone stuff, but ended up there was, I think, three pairs of hair and bone pants and three pairs, or three hair and bone jackets and about 50 million pairs of shorts. I do hope those have some value and lots of uh, khaki stuff. So, pretty good. You know, could it have been better? Yeah, but this is about as good as you can hope for to ever find a pair of monkey pants. They've just become so rare. And I hope you've enjoyed going through this box uh, almost as much as I have. And uh, if you've enjoyed the video, if you like seeing this kind of stuff from estate sales and auctions, uh, I encourage you to like this video and uh, subscribe. So you'll know when there's other videos put up on other items that I pick up at auctions and estate sales. And thanks for watching.